We had LeBron obviously talking about his public school yesterday, but he also talked about why he joined the Lakers. And his first quote, which is the one that really stood out to me, he said, quote, it's a dream come true. And from what it sounded like, LeBron's main focus around joining the Lakers was Magic Johnson. Now, regardless of what you think about LeBron going to Lakers or whatever, LeBron and Magic are very similar people. Both very smart men, both didn't grow up with a, uh, with, with a male idol in their life. And I think LeBron looks up to Magic Johnson as, as a mentor and as someone who he wants to be. And I mean, if you're, if you're an athlete in today's game, especially an African-American basketball player, Magic Johnson is who you should strive to be. He's a successful bill, uh, you know, businessman. He's, is he a billionaire? Yeah, I think it's either he is a billionaire or he's right there. Actually, no, he is a billionaire because LeBron James is the third billionaire basketball player behind Magic and obviously Michael Jordan. So I, I just think that if there's someone you're going to look up to in the NBA, Magic Johnson is obviously the number one guy you should and then LeBron James after that. But another interesting quote was he saying, I like the challenge of getting a team to places they haven't been. And he's not saying that the Lakers have never been to the playoffs, but look, the Lakers have been bad. I mean, they've been bad for the past five years. So I think LeBron loves a challenge. I think he's excited to see what he's going to be able to do with this team. He doesn't like, I think one thing that we've noticed about LeBron in his NBA career, he hates re repetition and he hates just, you know, bland consistency. He likes keeping things fresh and he likes playing with different teams. And I think this Lakers team is a perfect example of that. All right, let's go to our next rumor here. It's still talking about LeBron. He actually applauded the Lakers for not trading for Kawhi. Now, this was really interesting. He's saying, quote, I love the guys they have. I'm not trying to force my hand and make them make moves. He's also said that the front office has done a great job at rebuilding. Now, wildly interesting that LeBron is happy that they didn't trade for Kawhi. And I have a theory. I have nothing behind this. This is simply a theory. I don't think that LeBron James is very happy with how Kawhi Leonard has handled this offseason in general. I don't like it. LeBron James has always been a man who will back up his actions with words. He will always talk. He will always tell you what's going on in his head. And I don't think he respects the fact that Kawhi was leaving, you know, one of his great basketball mentors in Greg Popovich, leaving him completely in the dark and moving on from the Spurs. I don't think LeBron James respected that at all. And to be frank, I don't really know if LeBron James wants Kawhi Leonard on his team. Maybe that could be one of the big issues here because if you're talking about two players who don't really mix in terms of their personalities, I mean, how different could Kawhi, how more different could Kawhi Leonard and LeBron James really be? I mean, they are two completely separate people. So let me know in the comment section below if you think it was a good idea for the Lakers to not trade for Kawhi Leonard. I personally think that it was, I think it was a great idea that they didn't trade him. They give the kids another year to play with LeBron and they can get Kawhi next offseason. But hey, we'll see if the Lakers even want Kawhi next offseason. LeBron will definitely have a hand in that. All right, let's go to our next Lakers rumor. Sorry, Lakers fans. Kobe Bryant might be coming back, according to Shaq. He had a quote on TMZ saying, quote, Kobe coming back. You heard it here first. He's obviously not serious. Kobe's not coming back. He's 39 years old. Doesn't really have any knee cartilage left. I don't even think the dude has a left ankle anymore. It, it, you know, the dude's body completely failed him over the last couple of years. And do we even want Kobe to come back? I don't. Why would you want Kobe to come back? He went out the perfect way, dropping 61 in his final game at home, by the way, against the Utah Jazz. I was watching that game. It was a great one. But let me know in the comment section below, do you want Kobe to come back? Give me a Y for yes or a type N for no. I say no. No, thanks. Keep Kobe away from basketball. I love the, the off-the-court stuff that he's doing right now, working with all the young players, doing his, his little ESPN Plus show that he loves to do. So... Keep, keep him off the court. Let him do what he's doing right now. All right, let's go to our next rumor. Still talking about Kobe. Apparently, Kobe Bryant wanted Jason Tatum over Lonzo Ball. So Drew Hanlon, who's Jason Tatum's primary NBA trainer, also works out with Kobe. The two of them are quite close. And apparently, Drew Hanlon showed Kobe Bryant some of Jason Tatum's tapes and said, why didn't the Lakers draft him? And then after seeing those tapes, has proceeded to work out with Jason Tatum multiple times. Kobe is apparently very impressed by Jason Tatum's ability to mirror his moves and also just the offensive ability that this guy has at his age. So we have a really interesting uh, way in here that I want you guys to talk about. Who will have a better NBA career? Give me a triple B for Lonzo Ball or type JT for Jason Tatum. 
I think Jason Tatum is going to have a much better career than Lonzo Ball. I think Lonzo is going to have a, a very interesting career. I don't think he's going to end up being Magic Johnson. I think at his best, he's going to be a, a Rajon Rondo level player who averages maybe 15 points per game. But outside of that, I mean, Jason Tatum has the ups, has MVP upside. He really does. I mean, if he continues the progression that he's moving and his defense continues to get better, there's no reason why at 25 years old, Jason Tatum won't be averaging 26 points per game and also is one of the best defenders at his position in basketball. So I say Jason Tatum is going to end up being the best player, but let me know below if you think it'll be Ball or Tatum. All right, let's go to our next Lakers rumor here. Jeannie Buss talking about LeBron's new school. She tweeted out something yesterday saying, Hashtag more than an athlete at King James. So much to look forward to. So obviously this in reference to the I Promise School that LeBron James opened up yesterday to help at-risk kids get an education in Akron, Ohio. I mentioned this in our NBA Rumors segment. I want to mention this again, just so Lakers fans really understand the guy that they're getting in LeBron James. This is what the I Promise School is giving to their students. Free tuition, free uniforms, free transportation within two miles of the school, free breakfast, lunch, and snacks, guaranteed college tuition for every student who graduates, a full food pantry for families, GEDs and job placement services for parents, and a free bicycle and helmet for any kid who is outside of two miles away from the school. So congratulations, Lakers fans. You are not only getting the best basketball player in the NBA, you're getting the best person in the NBA. And I think it is incredible what we are going to see going forward from LeBron James.